All right, I'm using a Torx uh, T6 screwdriver here. So, this is to remove the little protective cover. So, one, two, if it's not already off, of course, you can pull up, pull up on it. It should come undone. If it's new, it might be a little harder for it to come off. Now you're primed for attaching the actual automation adapter. All right, now I have the automation adapter in my hand. Uh, relatively easy. Line up these three pins with pretty much the three holes that are actually on the bottom of the scanner. So I'll flip this around, get it aligned, and pretty much with the with the supplied Allen wrench, just screw it on until it's relatively tight. You don't need to overdo it. But now it is connected and should be usable with the, as you know, either the serial port which is covered up over here, or of course the actual network jack. Uh, that's down here. All right, so once you have the automation adapter pretty much attached, uh, your choices are you can mount it to a uh, regular tri brack with a tri brack adapter. This is a 5 8 thread uh, that obviously screws perfectly right into the actual adapter over here and stays put. And now the scanner will sit on this on a regular survey tripod. But if this is uh, not the device that you're actually using, meaning uh, you're using a regular tripod that's a camera tripod with a 3 8 thread, something like uh, what you see over here, this is a Benro tripod that uh, we like to use on a lot of the scanners, in order to uh, make it go onto a smaller 3 8 thread. Um, base screw, uh, most of these scanners typically come with, first of all, a quick release adapter, and this quick release adapter, when we open it up, you wouldn't use for uh, the purposes of having the automation adapter, but you can see that um, this bottom piece over here actually has an insert in it. And to get that insert out, what you can do is use the supplied Allen key and kind of back it out. And what this is, is it makes that 5 8 thread uh, hole over here into a 3 8 one. So we'll just screw this in here once again bottom it out and now this becomes smaller which means it can now uh, comfortably thread onto a tripod with a, a smaller screw head and mm, can still be mounted on the automation adapter and once again once you want to put it on something smaller again or bigger in that case just back it out using the same method all right, to continue with the uh, Faro S-Series automation adapter configuration uh, on the user interface of the actual scanner, uh, once you have the automation adapter uh, connected, what you want to check is under Manage and General Settings, your W or your LAN configuration in this case. And uh, LAN configuration will consist of your IP address, a gateway, subnet mask, uh, network prefix, and then your DNS values. Those DNS values usually don't matter, but uh, there has to be something input in here. In order to con connect your uh, computer that's connected via that CAT6, CAT5 cable directly to the automation adapter, what you want to do is you want to go and pretty much uh, input these values in your network card on your computer. So we'll go into the TCP IP protocol here, properties, 
and I'll just type in uh, manually some IP addresses for my computer. So 10, 1, 10, 11, because we can't have the same address as the actual scanner has. So we'll do the subnet mask is 255, 255, 255, 0. Uh, next, we want the default gateway, which is 10, 1, 10, 1. And that's pretty much it. The DNSs uh, don't really matter. So when I hit the OK button, and we'll close my computer's connection. If we now enable this, I am, for the purposes of the video, I'm connected via Wi-Fi. But when I enable uh, the, this LAN connection, I should be able to access the scanner once again via the cable in the user interface uh, as an address I can use it over here. So let me turn it on. Let's hit yes. So the scanner is switching over from Wi-Fi to the actual network. Uh, if I refresh the screen it shouldn't work now. That's correct. So let's put in 10, 1, 10, 10. Enter. And if your IP addressing and your IP settings are correct, you should be able to see this. And this is pretty much proof that your cable that you have connected uh, from your computer to the scanner has successfully connected, connected with all the necessary network settings. And you can proceed with scanning uh, or remote administering the scanner via that cable. All right. Hope this was helpful. I'll see you in the next video.